was the scene right outside our doors just 24 hours ago. Hail pounding on the roof and rain and wind soaking the streets. And that's how we start tonight. The severe weather proving to cause a lot of damage here in the basin. Local 2's Ryan Martin has more on how residents adjust to the change in the forecast. Some basin residents getting a rude awakening during severe weather over the weekend as heavy rain, winds, even hail swept through the area. Well, I heard loud thuds on my roof. I just, I thought it was just heavy rain. I didn't really expect for it to be hail till I found out today. Christian Martinez says he was hiding from the hailstorms, but other residents say they weren't so lucky while driving through severe storms. The wind was so strong, and then the hail started coming down so, so much that I had to pull over. Now having to repair after a night of insane weather. He done uh, some damage on my car. I got to take it in and have it checked. I got a lot of small, that's what hurts you. The, that's not the big holes, the little tiny dents that that's on the car. Listen, I didn't even know. Body shop owners have advice to those who want to avoid any hail damage the next time this weather rolls into town. Build a patio, a porch, or something where they can always have the car underneath. Because remember, a lot of people that do live here and been here, it can snow tomorrow. Ryan Martin, Local 2 News. And now Ryan Martin is joining us to tell us what we're looking at since yesterday's terrible storms. And Ryan, how is it looking from here on out? Well, Don, right now we're going to do a recap of last night. You can see around 8.30 p.m. last night, that's when we saw a lot of the crazy activity. You can see right here, Ector County, these storms, all that purple activity you're seeing right there, that is some hail that we saw that potentially touched down earlier last night. But the fortunate thing is, when it got to Midland County, really wasn't much of that left. It's still, still got a good amount of rain over in Midland County, but none of that hail activity. So they got the ideal weather conditions that they wanted, but one of the areas hit the hardest, the Pecos and Reeves County. County area. You can see right over Pecos, they really got hit hard around I-10 with some pretty crazy hail activity there. And we also had some hail development down in Crane, Upton County areas, as well as the eastern portion of Pecos County. Now, a lot of this activity left some rain, even gave us some flooding throughout the entire basin, as well as some hail damage, as we just saw in that video. But we'll show you just how much rain we got coming up in just a little bit. Don, back to you. Across Texas, Governor Greg Abbott declaring a state of